We started breaking ground by breaking ground. We've always looked to the land for what we need and always made the tools to work with it. We won't stop making what we make better for today and for tomorrow. Because at John Deere, what we bring to the table touches lives around the world. We know we can't rest. We run for the humble, the hungry, the growing world. It's why you'll see our logo proudly stamped on machines and hats, on arms and in homes, and the loyalty to it passed down through generations. We run with the dignity that makes us dear. We strengthen relationships. We solve problems. Innovating on behalf of humanity and planet. In service of the people who trust us and the earth that sustains us. You'll find us where hard iron meets hard data. We don't make gimmicks, fads, or empty promises. We make machines that do more and use less. Machines that make life better. Because we don't run just to move faster than the rest. We run so life can leap forward. Up next, Ganesh Jayaram, CIO, John Deere. Every morning and every day, 75,000 of my colleagues globally and I are motivated by this noble purpose to help our customers revolutionize the world of agriculture and construction and drive sustainable outcomes that help each of us here in the room, our local communities, and the planet at large. At John Deere, we run so that life can leap forward. Just over two years ago, we announced an exciting new vision and our smart industrial strategy that aims to bring our legacy of manufacturing excellence and combine that with smart technology innovation. Our new operating model has three core tenets. First, we reorganized our equipment solutions around the way our customers carry out activities in the field. We call that production systems. We recognize that our customers need to be supported through distinctive products, parts, and service all through the life cycle of the equipment. And so we doubled down our focus through the Life Cycle Solutions Group. And then, to bring technology to the forefront, we standardized the development of technology as well as product development under the Enterprise Technology Stack. Becoming more data-centric is the core of being a smart industrial company. Our mission is very simple. We aim to engineer and deliver equipment solutions that leverage data to drive more precise outcomes out in the field. As part of the smart industrial strategy, we have a similar intent to run our business operations as intelligently as our machines in the field. We aim to use data to reimagine the different business operations within the core of the John Deere enterprise. Fields of manufacturing, engineering, finance, HR, and the like that are going to use data and analytics to drive high levels of productivity and innovation across the board. And all of that is done through a common information technology stack, which has components of analytics and data at the very top of it. At John Deere, we serve a wide range of customers globally. Think about agriculture. In the world of farming, customers in Asia farm on 
less than 100 acres of land, whereas here in North America, South America, and in parts of Europe, they use our equipment to farm on tens of thousands of acres. But their needs are exactly the same, which is show that you understand me and you deliver solutions that enable me to drive sustainable outcomes at the end of the day through use of data and analytics. As a technology function, we serve many other stakeholders, both internal as well as external. So whether it's a parts operations or manufacturing operations, and again, there the need is exactly the same. Deliver digital solutions that enable me to drive better outcomes in terms of efficiency of operations and the like. To put some context to the data that we're talking about here, we produce 100 distinct lines of equipment in service of our customers globally. It's roughly over 450,000 of these large ag and construction equipment that are telematically streaming data from every step in the value chain. We collect all of that data from a customer standpoint. From our internal operations standpoint, we have over 100 edge locations, be it parts warehouses, be it manufacturing locations. We're using sensors and technologies to drive high levels of quality across our internal operations. Most of our 75,000 employees around the, around the world are producing and consuming data to drive our internal operations more effectively. All of the data comes together in our enterprise data lake. We have had eight petabytes of data that's ingested today. That's roughly a 20-time increase here over the last three years. We convert all of that raw data into intelligence and insights using the John Deere Data Factory. Think of the John Deere Data Factory as a single-stop, cloud-based data and analytics um, organization, wherein we've organized all these high volumes of data that's being ingested, store it, curate it, and make it accessible to analytics professionals, both within the technology function as well as everywhere across the enterprise. So they can run data models that drive those analytical insights that we talked about earlier. It's all built on a lake house architecture. The premise of scale, we can ingest all different types of data, structured, unstructured, semi-structured data from batch processes, from streaming processes. We run analytical models, the basic BI models, all the way to more sophisticated, predictive, and prescriptive models. We ensure that we are democratizing the use of data and analytics, putting the right privacy and security controls in place, and managing the use of data responsibly across the board. Again, six-fold increase over the last three years in terms of number of data sets, 40-fold increase in terms of business cases, and seven-fold increase in terms of number of users across the enterprise that are using these data and analytical models. And I'll tell you, we're just getting started. Because as we ingest this pipeline of data in seconds as opposed to uh, weeks and days it is to take us in the past, we're going to see an exponential increase in terms of data and analytics across the enterprise. An example of one such business use case is from those telematically enabled machines that are out in the field. That machine data is ported in to the enterprise data lake. Our data scientists have created models that look at trends that diagnose a failure event that's likely to happen. These models automatically let our dealer technicians know that it's time to call our customers and arrange for maintenance to take place before the machine suffers downtime. So in doing so, we are upholding our core value of quality while also ensuring uptime and high economic value for our customers. We are building a culture across John Deere where data and analytics is everyone's responsibility. I've talked at length about the tools such as the Lakehouse architecture. As importantly, we're making sure that we are investing in an organization structure that supports our data engineers and data scientists through a period of continual learning. We have a forum where we're sharing these best practices across the board. At John Deere, both within the technology function and the company at large, we are running hard, running hard using data and analytics in service of our customers who are engineering better solutions for the world at large. If you are excited by this higher purpose of using data and analytics to drive a different outcome for the world at large, click on the QR code, look at the link, or contact any one of us out here. Thank you for your time and attention.